guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episodes two and three of Descending Stories. Let's go ahead and get started with episode two in three, two, one, go. Mind you, it is storming pretty bad right now, so I'm just trying to get this done. It's going to be like this, I think, for the rest of the night. Your girl had to hurry up and take a fucking shower. My thing is, who's running towards you? Is that supposed to be? It is. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> course like yes at first they didn't see eye to eye because if you look at them they're completely opposites damn like he just slapped the shit out of him You hush for five minutes?
So you might as well take them. Oh, come on. You're like the best of the best. So... A lot. Damn. <clears throat> Yeah, and get to know him. She right, though. Because you can put all the ish on them. Really more her. Uh, you know what? I, I cannot believe you know he's saying that because you know in the end he's spoiling his own self. Mm -hmm. 
Get the kitty! Ah! <laughs> Poor Vaughn. <laughs> You're right. Aww. Uh-oh. The more and more I look at the younger version of Bond, the more that I'm getting, like, Udier vibes. He'll do fine. It might be Bond's first time since this incident, so of course he has a reason to be nervous. I need to rest. And he'll do the same with you. Oh, that's a bug. I thought that was something. I'm thinking there's something wrong with my computer. <laughs> I thought that was my dog making that sound. I was like, oh. Relax.
see there's a point because he is nervous. He's going, oh, damn, he's making him fall asleep. Did my phone just go off? We'll find out in a minute. But he's going a little too fast. And the fact is now he's making people fall asleep. Keep trying, though. Phone just went off. That's my lovely mother. nerves are even oh god look how sweaty he is he's not as sweaty as yotaro was in the first episode but mm.
he's literally his character is literally a fucking con artist. Oh my god. He's just doing this just kind of get for his free food. And that is how you end a show. Okay, one thing I'm going to say, I feel like this episode was a lot better than episode one. This episode one felt more like episode zero, which was, it's still not a bad episode. Like, really, it's phenomenal and such. But my pacing for it was just a little off. This seemed more on Bond story, even though Yotaro is the main character of this show. Um, is interesting. So I do hope we get to see more of that, like, every single week. I think at first when I went into last week, I was just hoping, like, oh, maybe just, like, one-off episode, and then, you know, we just move on back to Yosato. Now I'm like, no, I need to go back and forth between the past and the present, and then maybe by the end of the show, like, hmm second season then you can go into the future where unfortunately bond meets his tragedy and he passes away and we see yotaro and bond's friend's daughter um taking their places and such hopefully i mean that would be really nice to see now seeing these two grow up first as kids and just seeing once again they are both total opposites and these two are like mm, I don't know about you like that. Like, bruh, like, you, you cool, but you ain't cool, cool. But the fact is that, you know, once he said something to Bond, it made him cry. Like, and he really realizes himself, like, I'm screwed. My my parents abandoned me and everything. Like, I, you gotta feel bad for him. Like, oh my god, that really just freaking hurt. I mean, because I don't even remember. Mm. No, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be quiet about that. No, 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 no. Keep that to myself. But seriously, this was just, a, like, a really interesting episode. I think way more interesting than... I, I'm probably, like, the last few minutes of the first episode, even though episode one of that show, of, of, of this show, is phenomenal. Very good. But it had little moments where I was like... Okay. Like, mm. Oh shit, did I just fuck something up? I probably did. Uh, my freaking thumb drive-ish, whatever, it always is that-ish. But, I mean, yeah, I have a little more questions, but it seems like, okay, episode three, we are still continuing on to, you know, the past, and so I'm guessing episode four and five might go back into the present, or, and here's a weird way of saying this, what if season one it's just all about the past. And then season two is the present. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad at that either. Because I would like to see them grow and such. Which you get to see it in this episode. But I want more context of it. Everything up to, you know, the end of dude's life and stuff. And then Bond continuing it. Continuing it and then eventually when we finally once again meet Yotaro and such and going from there. But who really knows how it's going to go. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode three. Okay, episode three and three, two, one, go.
I just feel like now with this opening, the but by, by episode three, I was expecting this more in episode two. Like this is gonna get really sad. It's gonna hurt. Is this gonna make me cry? I'm not sure yet. Oh, unlike you, lazy. Right? Um, yeah, he's still trying to have a future. He has a backup plan. That sometimes you have no time to really truly live. And I mean, Shin is going to surprise you because it feels like he doesn't do anything. It, he just, he has that it factor. While you, you're striving for it. You're training to get that it factor. And we know you have it. We all know he has it. Oh, you okay? Okay, a man of many talents.
Aww. She wants to hold your hand. Damn. So you know what that reminds me? You know how like with certain books being banned, whether it's in a certain state, country, whatever, due to Something, anything, that gives hella feels towards that. Yeah. You sure about that? Well, I mean, you know, of course not because of what's going on. You think someone's going to join that freaking quickly?
There's nothing else that they could do. Why not just take them both at the same time? Right? Like, you just throw him out like trash. And I get it, you want to do it for his protection, but he doesn't want that. We know that he's going to come back. He's not dying right then and there. And both. <laughs> Alrighty. All ready. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I honestly thought that his master would have had the cat go with Bond, but he's like, nope, my cat's on his own. But we all know you didn't do that. No, don't say that. And still, no letters? Oh, God.
Right? We don't want that. Soulmate right there, but like, no, really, you have to eat. So that when he does come, you're healthy. Damn, with a smile on your face. to go back. Mm -hmm. Now why I feel like the girl that he, the, yeah, this girl right here that he just left, she's going to come back by the end of this episode.
Yay! But, because of course there's a but. Of course. A fucking course. Now, I mean, yes, to end on a cliffhanger like that, mm, that's okay. I'm mad at it, though. But, okay, having Shin and Bond's master telling Bond, like, no, you can't go. Your leg. Your leg is what, it, it, it's gonna mess you up. You're not gonna be able to survive during this. Was, yes, a insult, but at the same time, he was doing it to protect him. Because he, he's just like, I can't lose you. If I lose you, I cannot face your mother again. And that would be the most hardest thing as a guardian of someone else's child to do. Because, th okay, think about it as this. Imagine if you have a friend or a friend tells you, I want to borrow something of yours. Or you have a family member that is like, I want to borrow something of yours. Or... Um, you tell them to watch your dog, your cat, your, I don't know anybody who watched no fish, um, a snake, any other sorts of reptiles, or even shit, like a guinea pig or a hamster. And let's say you come back and that book or any, any pet. Is not the same. Let's say the pet got hurt and they didn't know what to do. That That's a lot of responsibility on one person. Same thing with something that you've given someone that where they borrowed and they ruin it when they give it back to you. It would be fucked up. They couldn't look at you the same way. Or you couldn't really look at them the same way. Because all you're going to be reminded of is how you ruin something of mine that was very important. Or you decide to steal it and think that it's yours. And when that said person is like, hey, I want my stuff back. And they don't give you your stuff back. To the point that somebody else has to go to their house and tell them, hey. This is yours and you're only stealing mine because someone stole yours. Ha 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 ha. I'm just saying. You don't do that. It, it's about trust. It is about responsibility and such. With anything. Any sort of belonging that is not yours that you're watching over and such. And so I get it where he's like, I got to think more of your protection than wanting you to protect our country. Your safety and everything needs truly the world to me. And I don't need you to be hurt even more than you already are hurt. You're you're not as strong as us. So you have to stay put. I do like the fact that, you know, with Bond going to the country and falling in love with another woman, um, I would have expected the girl that he liked at first who was working at the theater um, playing would have come back some way to perform and such. Because, of course, the woman at the end of this episode is a completely different person. That is not the same woman. So, of course, he, she's really there for Shin. But from that preview, she kind of, like, um, forces herself on Bun. And I don't really like that and such but who knows of course we gotta wait until next week to figure it out but other than that guys that is my reaction for episodes two and three of descending stories if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join my master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for everybody else and next saturday for patreons for episodes three and four but until then i will see you guys all next time bye